Beginning transmission. This is the audio log of Dr. Cool, O5 Council member, as well as Supreme Commander of Mobile Task Force Alpha 1, also known as the Red Bright Hand. Hello everyone. Today's article file is an interesting one. It comes from a request from one of our containment facilities located in Russia. We have had another incident occur in the northeastern sector. I am now actually being sent to investigate it. I am flying to Russia as we speak. However, in that time I have been reading up on the article file for this SCP and I figured to those teams that are also being sent to this containment site, I should probably read it for you as well so that way you have the knowledge to understand it. Let us get into this article file for today for those of you assigned to this mission alongside with me. Item number SCP-776, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. A 6.5 meter wall with posted guards and a surveillance system has been built around the town inhabited by SCP-776-A. Civilians are under the impression that this marks the territory of a government research facility. Site has been established within these limits for the research into the anomalous properties of SCP-776-A. Interaction with members of SCP-776-A is limited strictly to testing in light of the events of Incident 776-3. No individual is part of the SCP-776-A group is allowed to leave the town under any circumstances. Description SCP-776-A is the adult population of a remote town located in the far northwest corner of Russia, established at six individuals. The members of SCP-776-A have discovered a method of reversing biological aging, designated SCP-776-B. The ritual involves the sacrifice of a human being who must be younger than the performer of the ritual, with children being the preferable subjects of sacrifice. The complete instructions for enacting SCP-776-B have been recorded in document 776-109-Alpha, a level 776-4 restricted document. Members of SCP-776-A claim to have been using SCP-776-B since 18 to sustain eternal life and semi-eternal youth. Members of SCP-776-A refuse to divulge the origins of SCP-776-B. The average age of SCP-776-A members range from 23 to 51 years of age. This cycle of aging progresses as follows. From 23 to 39 years, after regressing in biological age as a result from enacting SCP-776-B, members of SCP-776-A lead considerably active lives, some claiming to have made regular travels abroad when they have sufficient funds to do so. Members of SCP-776-A are also notably lenient in sexual conduct, with married couples frequently partaking in affairs with each other's consent. The overall demeanor of SCP-776-A's members is most positive during this period, and a general increase in cooperation is observed during this period. Any pregnancies resulting from the increased sexual activity during this period are terminated by SCP-776-A members as soon as possible. From 39 to 51 years, Members of SCP-776-A prepare their homes for supporting children as they approach the age of 40. Once the average age of SCP-776-A is 40, members engage in sexual intercourse for the purpose of procreation. Members spend the next approximate 11 years raising their children. SCP-776-A members show signs of depression during this period. At age 51, members of SCP-776-A bring their children to warehouse-like structures near the outskirts of the town to enact SCP-776-B. Each individual enactment of SCP-776-B takes approximately 20 minutes to complete. SCP-776-A members exit the structures approximately 28 years younger than before. 
The interior of this structure is slated for examination. SCP-776 was discovered in 19 after an individual named who had stumbled upon the town in 19 revisited it 12 years later after remembering the hospitality of its citizens. Upon entering the town, noticed that the town was filled with young adults instead of the families he had encountered during his first visit. Reported that when he questioned a citizen about this, the citizen immediately turned hostile and attempted to murder him. Successfully escaped the town and reported it to nearby authorities. The foundation soon took notice and took over investigation and administered Class A anesthetics to Mr. After a heated debate, the members of SCP-776 A agreed to allow the Foundation to isolate and study them. SCP-776 A claimed their town's name to be Another town in this name was abandoned in 19. However, the town populated by SCP-776 A was discovered in years before the abandonment of the aforementioned town. Russian government officials claim to not have been aware of SCP-776-A's existence, nor the town they inhabit, stating never to have plans to build another. SCP-776-A's members claim to have no knowledge of when or why was founded, saying that none of their elders ever discussed the topic. Incident Report 776-3 on March 20 at hours, approximately, individual SCP-776-A members launched an assault on site, killing personnel, including guards and scientists. The remaining guards used their combined force to suppress the attack, killing members of SCP-776-A in the process. The organizer of the group, SCP-776-A-276, was apprehended for interview while the rest of the attacking group was terminated. Interview 776-6 The interview log is transferred from Russian. Doctor was accompanied by two security guards to ensure 276 would cause no harm. 276, would you care to explain why you led an attack on site? Don't call me that. Call me by my real name. Very well then. Why did you organize an attack on our facility? I suppose there is no point in hiding it now. You scientists are the only hope we have left. You see, the town has been having problems as of recent. Please elaborate. We've been trying to raise children again for the process, but a lot of the townspeople haven't been able to have children anymore. No matter how much they try, none of the women can get pregnant. Well, some can, but... The babies... They come out all wrong. I've heard of some with too many eyes, not enough skin, others that look like they had been dead long before they exited the womb. They don't live past a few days at most. We thought we could find the cure if we searched your labs. I originally thought my wife and I were safe after we had a perfectly healthy child, but then... My most recent child always seemed uncomfortable around me and my wife, always preferring to be alone. I didn't think too much of it, but then the time came when my child could speak properly. When she was around four years old, I kept her locked in the basement ever since. What was it that your daughter said? She said, Papa, why did you do that to me? Why did you... I didn't even notice how much she looked like my fourth daughter up until that moment. <laughs> 276? 
And of course, that is the end of our audio log for today. Thank you so much if you have listened the full way through. I hope that it was an interesting case for all of you. We will be arriving in this said sector of Russia within the next two hours. So, I will continue to mount forces and see what can be done. Hopefully, with not any violence, I do not wish that to occur. But then again, with these things, you never know. Wish me luck. This is Dr. Cool, 05 Command, signing out.